Hello everyone and welcome back to session number five of our Key Stage 1 Athletics Virtual Club. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take a bit more of a deeper look into throwing. So we've done sending and receiving uh, in session number three I think it was and today we're going to go into a bit more depth with our throwing techniques. There's two type of throws that we're going to be focusing on for today's session. We're going to be looking at our underarm throws which are usually used for shorter distance throws, underarm just gentle throws and our overarm throws which are usually used for longer distance where we try to get more power in order to throw the ball further distances. So we're going to focus on our throwing today but first we first we need to start with a warm okay so for a quick warm up today what we're going to do is we're going to look at a bit of our agility okay so here as you can see i've got two hoops we've got a blue one over there the green one here the green one i've filled up with a few tennis balls um, and the blue one i've left completely empty so for this what you're going to do is you're going to need someone at home to either a parent or a sibling uh, to time you for this or you can count in your head but that might be a little bit difficult so you're going to fill up one of your hoops or one of your small areas with uh, different balls different objects that you might have at home uh, to make it more challenging for yourselves you might push the hoops further apart or you might add more objects into the hoop hoop so i've got a uh, hoop full of tennis balls there i'm going to start in the middle and all i have to do is i'm going to run as fast as i can grab a ball i can only take one at a time from the green hoop and i'm going to go and drop it into the blue hoop so once i've finished all of my balls out of that hoop into that hoop that is my challenge complete and the person at home with you is going to time you to see how long it takes so ready i'm going to start in the middle you're going to need someone to shout go and to time it for you so i'm going to get ready i'm going to go i'm going to get down nice and low take a ball turn drop it in this hoop get back nice and quick get down low ball, take a ball drop it down in this hoop nice and quick take a ball drop it down getting nice and low reaching as far as i can and pushing off with my back leg as you can see here i'm going to push off with this leg to accelerate myself so i'm going to go nice and quick i'm going to keep going until this is empty and i'm going to do one more and i'm going to stop there so someone at home will be timing me and i'm going to see how long it takes me to empty this green hoop with all the balls into that blue hoop so that might have taken about a minute see if you can beat my score okay so now we've uh, completed our warm-up what we're going to do now is we're going to link the agility drill we just did uh, with the drill we're going to do now so we're going to link our throwing into our agility so we're going to put these two exercises together so we're working on our throwing whilst we're working on our agility and our turning speed as well okay so here as you can see behind me i've got a bucket of tennis balls with this at home all you need is a bucket or a basket it, needs, it doesn't have to have anything in it, it can be empty. Mine have just got the tennis balls in that we have at school. Uh, and then you need a hoop with some objects in, preferably some balls, uh, but anything you want. So I've got um, 10 tennis balls over there. If you want a higher challenge with this, you're gonna have more balls in your zone and you're gonna have a smaller area to throw them into. If you want a smaller challenge, what you're gonna do is you have a bigger area and less tennis balls, okay? so. What you're going to do for this challenge now is you're going to have the, uh, the bucket or the basket not too far away from the hoop, so it's just a good practice just to get started. You're going to start in the middle uh, of, the two uh, of the two areas. When someone says go for you, you're going to run. You're going to grab a ball from your um, area so that you've marked out for yourselves. You're going to turn, and then from just around about the edge of your area, you're going to try an underarm throw the ball into the basket or bucket. So I've got 10 balls here. I'm gonna see how many balls that I can get into the bar, uh, into the bucket. I'm gonna go for as many as possible, okay? So someone's gonna say go, so go. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna grab a ball, I'm gonna get nice and low. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna do it this side so you can see. I'm gonna grab a ball, I'm gonna turn, underarm throw. So with my underarm throw, I'm gonna get nice and low, bend my knees, keep my back nice and straight, and have the ball out in front of me. So I'm gonna aim where I'm gonna go with my other arm, have my other arm out as well. Slight bend in my arm. I'm gonna put it back behind me. I'm just gonna bring it up at the right time and release. That was terrible. You're gonna do better than me. So I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna grab the ball. Get nice and low. That one was close. Then I'm gonna to touch my bucket. I'm gonna get back. Grab another one. Get ready. That was terrible as well. I'm gonna to touch my bucket. Get back. Try again. That's better. There's one. I'm gonna to touch my bucket. Grab another ball. Two, perfect. Then I'm gonna get back. Nice and low, I'm gonna turn. Three, this is better. Get nice and low. 
Oh, I'm going to count that one because that one would, would have gone in if there was nothing inside it. So I'm going to say I've got four so far. Oh, same with that one. I'm not counting that one. So that's still four. Two more to go. I'm going to say that one went in. Why not? Five. And last one. Oh, that one would have gone in if there was nothing in my bucket as well. So, I didn't do too bad with that. I started really poorly, but again, if you want a bigger challenge now, what you can do is you can do it again, but you're gonna move them further apart. And of course, if you're gonna do it further apart, you're gonna to need to get more power into your throw so it reaches your target. Okay, so now we've completed that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to a different exercise, but still focusing on our underarm throw. It's still the exact same technique as what we've just worked on over there. So bent knees, back straight, arms slightly bent out in front of us. We're gonna put it back, other arm to aim, release when we get to the right height. But this time, the exercise is gonna be what we're gonna do is you're going to need a cone or a marker to start on, so I'm going to start behind this cone. What I'm going to do is I have four areas marked out, four hips in this case. Again, you can have anything at home that you can do this with, four baskets, four buckets. What you're going to do is you're going to try to throw the ball, uh, throw the ball straight, throw the bean bag into the first hoop. When you get it into the first hoop, you're going to go and stand in the first hoop, try and throw it to the second one. When you get it in, you're going to go to the second hoop. When you get it into the second one, you're going to go to the third one. When you get it into the third one, get it into the fourth one and you've completed it. If you miss, so if I go for the green one and I miss, I'm going to come back to my red cone and start again, okay? Here I go, I'm going to give it a go now. I'm going to throw it underarm straight into my first shoot. So I'm going to go pick it up and try and get it into my next shoot. away okay the next game that we're gonna play is called target practice so all you're gonna need for this is a marker so I've used an orange cone here so you need a cone that you can start from so a cone that you can throw from uh, throw from behind that and then I've got three little areas marked out so I've used hoops for this so I've got a yellow hoop a red hoop and a blue hoop for this you can use socks to throw with I'm gonna use bean bags and you can try to get them to land on the cushion if you're gonna use cushions so for this, I've got my marker where I'm going to start from, my three objects that I'm going to throw, to my three bean bags, and then uh, three target areas that you're going to aim to throw to. So I've got three different types of hoops here. All you're going to do is you're going to start just behind your cone, uh, and you're going to turn around, face your object you're going to throw towards, and you're going to use an underarm throw technique. So we've already gone through that, and you're going to try and get all three of your objects into the three different areas that you've marked out for yourself. So using our underarm throwing technique, just slightly bent knees, keeping our back nice and straight, using your other arm to throw, just a slight bend in your arm, and releasing at the right point to make sure it goes towards the target that you want it to go to. So I'm going to do it now, and I'm going to show you what you're going to try and achieve. So if you want to set yourself a timer of two minutes for this, you want to try and see how many points you can get. Remember, you get one point every single time you manage to get a uh, all three of your objects into all three of the hoops. So just like this, I'm going to do it now with you. There's one in, and now I'm going to go for the middle one. There's two in, now I'm going to go for the end one. There's three in. So that'll be one point for me, so I'm going to keep going, see how many times I can do that in one, uh, sorry, two minutes. And I'm going to try and keep going and get them in every single time. Remember, the further away the hoop is, the more power you're going to have to put into it. So for that last one, you're going to have to put quite a bit more power into it than you would do for the first one here. So it's quite a bit further away. Okay, the final activity that we're going to do today is you're going to basically play a game of mini golf or crazy golf with an object and some targets. So I'm going to use my targets from before, so I'm going to keep my hoops, I'm going to use them uh, again, and then I've got my bean bags here that I'm going to use to throw into the hoops behind me. So basically, the same way that Crazy Golf works, you're trying to get it in the hoop in as little amount of shots as possible. So the shots is going to be each throw for this, and the, obviously the hole or the goal in here is going to be the, um, it's going to be the hoop that you're trying to get the bean bags into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by getting it into the first one, so this isn't that far away, so I'm just going to start on an underarm shot. That's going to be one point for me. Brilliant. 
So, that one's in. I did it in one, so that's going to be one. Now I'm going to go for the second one. So the second one I had there is the yellow one, which is a bit further away. So this might take me a few more shots. If I want to go risky and try and get it in in one, I might go for an, un uh, an overarm technique for this. And our overarm technique is you're going to stand just like, uh, you're going to stand side on just like Usain Bolt. If you, if you know who Usain Bolt is at home, um, if you don't, then Google him and Google what his celebration is. But that's the technique that we're going for here. So you're going to stand side on, you're going to put one arm out in front of you. This is the arm that you're going to aim with. You're the arm you're not as strong with, you're going to put that out in front of you, that's the one you're going to aim with. And then this arm, your throwing arm, you're going to have it out behind you, slightly bent, then you're going to throw, release, step through, and that is to get as much power and accuracy in the throw as possible. So side on, arm out to aim, What your back arm, your throwing arm is going to be out to your side, bent slightly, when you throw you're going to release in front of you, step through, and that's going to help you to get more power in the throw, okay? So I'm now going to go for the middle one, so I'm going to try and get it in in one by using this one throw. Ready? So I'm going to stand side on, arm out in front of me, I'm going to go for the second one. Ah, oh, perfect, so I've got it in first time. So that now gives me an overall score of two for my three holes. And I'm going to now go for the last one, which is even further away. You might not be able to see it, but the red one that's all the way over there. So this one might take me a few more, so I'm going to go um, and try and get it into the red one now. If I miss, I was quite short with that one. It doesn't matter. I will just pick up my red bean bag and try and get into the red, the red two from where it stops. So from where it is now, I will try and get it in. But that will be my second shot. Okay. So now I've had one, two, three shots, and it might take me one more to get it in there, which will give me an overall score. So I'm going to try and go and finish it off now and get it into the last. So just like that, I managed to get it in in four. So I managed to complete all three holes in four shots in total. So I did one for the blue one, one for the yellow one, two for the red one at the end. Depending on how much space you have, again, if you have a lot more space at home, you're gonna put your hoops further apart than this, or you might have more target areas to make it even more challenging for you. If you have limited space, or you're not feeling as confident with this, you're gonna pull the areas in a little bit and have less of them to make it a little bit easier for you to manage at home. Okay, that is it for session number five of our Key Stage 1 Athletics Club. Today what we focused on was our different throwing techniques. There's two main types of throwing techniques that we use. We use underarm throwing and overarm throwing. Remembering that our underarm throwing, we have our knees slightly bent, one foot just in front of the other. You have your throwing arm slightly bent just out in front of you. You have your second arm ready to aim for where you want to throw it. You release what you're throwing at the perfect time and you swap it up in front of you to make sure it goes into where you want it to go. And remember, with our overarm throwing, we stand to the side, just like you saying, Bolt. We have one arm out, out in front of us to aim, one arm back behind us to bend, and then when we throw it, we step through to make sure we can get as much power in our throw as possible. So good luck with what we've done today. I hope you have fun and enjoy it. And I'll see you all for session number six of our Key Session on Athletics Club next week.